Hello, praise the Lord for another beautiful day. Uh, I want to look at the unrest in uh, in the colleges and <clears throat> that's going on in America today. And I'm going to make note, uh, just like it was sent to me not too long ago, uh, a, a video that talks about how that during the Vietnam War, the... Uh, in Columbia University in New York was the epicenter of college protest and uh, and how that it's spread out from there and uh, and it changed the whole country's mind towards Vietnam it uh, it had a powerful impact upon the nation at the time so much so that uh, the president got rid of the uh, the head general that was in charge of the Vietnam War. And, you know, and, and here we go again. It's the same university, Columbia University in New York, and uh, the protests are continuing on. And uh, they took Hamilton Hall, my understanding is, and... Uh, there's, there's unrest these days in the colleges in many places. So, you know, that, that brought to mind, uh, being it's the year of the eclipse, you know, and in the prior eclipse, the one that made the X over the United States of America, I remember I was in the Oregon area when that occurred, and the Lord started, uh, I told the Lord one day, I said, Lord, I got no job, I need a job, I need something to do, I need somewhere to go, so on and so forth. And <clears throat> the Lord said, I've got a job for you. I said, oh yeah? Do tell. So as I was praying, I was praying into this whole matter. Uh, and, and honestly, back in 2017, I was pretty oblivious about the solar eclipse. I was dealing with a lot of uh, wounding and coming out of a, a long marriage right before that, and uh, that those things weren't even on my mind, but was, was on my mind was serving God, and, and as, as I was wanting to be praying, and I usually did early in the morning, the Lord said, okay, uh, get your stuff together, get ready, uh, get in your vehicle, get gas, and let's go. So, lo and behold, where I went was uh, George Rogers Clark uh, University in the Portland, Oregon area. And that's where I began a series of ministry, uh, intercession ministry, declaration ministry in many of the colleges in that area, in, in the Portland area and Vancouver and, and even Seattle University and, and many other public places there. Uh, just doing an intercessory work and uh, just flow, following the flowing of the Holy Spirit. And, and there's a, and a lot of times we don't understand that these things are precursors and things of, of, of glories and moves of God. For in those days, the Lord said, I will pour out my spirit <coughs> and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams and uh, so on and so forth in a powerful move of God that transpires after that. Well, we are in the midst of a powerful move of God, and a lot of people aren't seeing it. You see that uh, there's the, uh, the innocent blood of, uh, of abortion, you know, that many, many Christians will fight. And, and if you will look at it in the way that I believe we should be looking at it is that these protesters in these colleges are protesting the shedding of innocent blood. They're seeing it from a total different viewpoint than the Zionistic viewpoint that's being shown to us. I'm not a Jew hater, I've never been and never will be, nor am I a Palestinian hater, I haven't been and never will be. And I guarantee you all this rhetoric on the news that keeps talking about them going after Hamas, Hamas, Hamas. Not everybody that lived in Gaza 
was Hamas. No, not at all. A very small, minute fraction of those people were Hamas. The rest of them were oppressed by Hamas as much as anybody else was. And they lived in fear then, but now they're rising up protecting themselves. And, you know, if you turn the tables around and, and, and presented it like if it was Texas over Mexico or whatever, and, and you just changed a few names, how could you but not endorse somebody that would protect their homeland? <coughs> but the thing is, we're too often apt to believe what we're told. Let me tell you something, friend. God is doing a powerful work, and God is doing a powerful work in our college institutions. I, During those declarations and times of prayer and, and, and intercession, I, I, I would pray that there would be a vision released in the lives of these new young leaders of the world, and that there would be a, an excitement for the things of God. And, and, and see, the things of God... Uh, the way God moves is not always in your standard uh, traditional, oh, you know, Holy Ghost revival in a church meeting somewhere. And, and that does happen. Don't get me wrong. That does happen. But God is not limited to church walls for revival. God is not limited to anything to bring forth his spirit in the hearts and lives of young people. Many times it will start out in a cause and through that cause, God is able to minister to the heart because they're impassioned with, for somebody else besides themselves and the right for life. And isn't that the most predominant basic right there is? The right to life, the right for protection, the right to live your life indiscriminate of how you believe, you know? None of us, hardly hardly any of us, even in the church world, agree upon all things spiritual. But I'm telling you, I know a move of God when I see it. And though maybe they're not preaching, maybe they are. But history is being repeated again. And this republic is being questioned. This de democracy is being questioned as to what their motives really are where they're really at. And, you know, I haven't even started on any of the conspiracy theories of the of mystery Babylon or any of that. I'm talking about revival, a move of God breaking out that's not being seen, I believe, for what it really is. There is a move of God going in the campus, college campuses. Many of them are praise and worship, but many of them are standing up for the rights of others and the standing up for the right to life and crying out against the shedding of innocent blood. Friends, we need to take up, take seat, take up, sit up, I mean, and take notice for what's going on because our rights are being gradually eroded before our very eyes. Amen.